Good morning, guys. It's Laurie from PassionatePennyPincher.com, and I am so excited. This is probably one of my favorite things that we do every year. Today, I am showing you guys how we pack a couple Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. We felt super behind things, but this morning I ran to um, Hobby Lobby and the Dollar Tree and I got my stuff to fill the boxes. And this is one of those ministries that if you would like to learn more about, just click the link in the video. I'll give you tips on how to pack stuff for them. This is a fantastic item to do with your kids. Great ministry. I think the world of this and I feel so blessed to be a part of it. So um, if you wanna click the link in the video, it's gonna tell you all about how to join me and also do this amazing ministry. These boxes will go to kids all over the world. Um, and if you guys are hopping on, tell me, give me a harder like and let me know have you done this ministry before I would love to hear if this is something you do um, I love it so I'm going to show you really fast a couple things that I grabbed today um, I've got my box you can you might be able to find these boxes still at Hobby Lobby if you can't you can totally just do a regular shoe box where I found this box today at the Dollar Tree. So I think they're probably gonna be sold out on the fancy ones, but I would love to know, have you guys done this? Oh, somebody has a snow day. Antonio, where do you, is that right? Antonia, Antonia, where do you live that you have a snow day? Cause it is not, I thought we were gonna get snow today tomorrow, but we aren't. Okay guys, so I have a whole bunch, I have a mess. I have a mess of stuff. You did it last year. I'm so glad you did it last year, Michelle. That's awesome. Well, I am packing two boxes this morning one for a boy and one for a girl. So I'm going to do um, one for a, probably I would say a middle, like, well, let me see if I, I just filled out my form. I'm packing one. There you go. There's my form. One for a girl, one for a boy. And I think that, did I turn it around backwards? That might be backwards. Um, is that backwards? Am I backwards? Am I backwards for you guys? Let me know if I'm backwards. Like, type in the word backwards if I'm backwards, and I'll switch it really fast because it's hard to see stuff. I feel like I am backwards. Okay, here's some of the things that I grabbed this morning in the Dollar Tree. I got flip-flops. I got Legos. We're going to open those up and try them. I got toothbrushes. I got a ball. I got this. I am backwards. Okay, let me see if I can fix that so I'm not backwards because I know that's kind of annoying. Um. Let's try that. How's that? Am I, now I'm not backwards. Much better. Okay. Perfect. Okay. There we go. Now we're good. Um, I got these Legos. I'm going to actually let you guys look at them and see what you think. I got crayons. I got more crayons. I got a Matchbox car. I got some stuff for um, some hair stuff. I got sunglasses, which I love because honestly, I use Dollar Tree sunglasses because I lose and break sunglasses all the time. So I love that one. I also got some stickers, some sponge thingies, some of these washcloths, which I loved, more sunglasses, hair brushes, Legos, hair elastics. It's amazing what you can get into these little boxes if you really try. More Legos, another washcloth thingy. Y'all, I got more. I got socks. Again, these were all just the Dollar Tree this morning. Um, I definitely recommend the Dollar Tree a hairbrush if you're looking for ways to get stuff pretty inexpensively. Some dental floss, and I'm going to show you how to get all of this stuff into these boxes because I know you're thinking right now, like, Laurie, there is no way you're going to get all that in there. And I may not, but if I can't, I'll just get, I'll do somebody else's box. And you can look, get more information on these over at, it's the link above, on Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes and this ministry at, um, Hobby Lobby, I got t-shirts. I got this cool Frisbee. I may have too much. <laughs> I may have gotten more than I expected. I got these, which I absolutely love. This is a cute little bag for it. This is for an older teenage girl. Um, I got some Floam and I got a bandana, which I thought this was so cute because I got the bandana to go with this shirt. So this is all just the Hobby Lobby. This was a dollar. The shirt was like, I don't know, four or five dollars. Um, okay, so let's see how much of this, like I said, I may be doing two bins. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how much I can get in here. Let's start, y'all wanna start with the girl one? Actually, I'm really curious about the boy Lego one. Let's start with this Lego one. I don't know, I think I might be doing two bins. I think I'm gonna have to get another box for sure. So if you are interested in Operation Christmas Child Shoe Box, click the link in the video. I need to find my scissors. Because one big tip is to get rid of all the extra wrapping. So that's going to help me to not have so much stuff in this bin to send. So it is totally fine. It also makes a lot less trash on their end. So they don't have to worry about throwing it all away. This worries me. Do you, guys, can I open that? I don't think I can open that. 
I think I'm gonna leave that because I don't believe I can open it. Let me go let my dog in because he's gonna have a heart attack. Bless him. Hang on. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, forget to do that so sorry okay so on the silly putty I'm so not sure these boxes do not go to children in the USA these go to kids all around the world so they will go to other countries they will find children who wouldn't have Christmas without this and that's what I love about this this will totally be something that um, will be for kids that would not normally have this so these are socks I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unwrap all the stuff and the reason you want to unwrap it is because it will take up less space and it will also um, be a lot less trash for them to deal with. Because you can imagine, at, when they give away these boxes, they have hundreds of children getting them. And you can imagine what Christmas morning is like at your house when you have maybe three or four kids. Imagine you've got hundreds of kids getting packages. It's a lot of trash. I'm gonna leave that because I don't think that's gonna take up too much room. So this way, um, you're preventing that from them. I think I am gonna have to do two boxes. I think I have enough for two boy boxes for sure, and maybe two girl boxes too. I bought more than I, I just couldn't do it all. Now, something, so these are Hot Wheels. These are from the Dollar Tree. They're a dollar. These are great stocking stuffers as well. Do not pay more than a dollar ever for a Hot Wheel because the Dollar Tree carries them, which is a great little thing you can add. I am gonna try these in just a second. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with them. We're gonna keep going. I am not so sure about these Dollar Tree Legos, and I actually wanted to try them, so I bought them in hopes that they're gonna work. Um, if they're not gonna work, if they are junk, I am not gonna send them, so I do not recommend sending stuff that's junk, because it's not worth it. We wanna send them things that are quality. Um, this is dental floss, again, go to the Dollar Tree. Uh, crayons, a huge box of crayons. I'm probably not gonna take it out of this box, because that will be a pain. This is the ball, these can stay. I'm gonna take the toothbrushes out of their containers. It's just a lot less. A nice thing is that these boxes do go through processing, so someone will go through the box that you send in. They'll make sure everything's right. There are a couple things you cannot send. One thing is you cannot send, um, you used to be able to send candy and toothpaste. You can no longer send candy or toothpaste. The one thing I forgot to put in, I believe, I checked this morning, I think you can still send in soap, bar soap. Um, if someone knows that I'm wrong for sure, I believe you can. I'm like 99% sure that you can send bar soap in. Okay, so here's our box now that we've got everything together. Um, I'm gonna go ahead, I am gonna send these, I'll show you what I'm gonna do with this. Assuming this works, these were from the Dollar Tree. Pretty amazing. I don't know if they're gonna be awesome Legos or not. And I did want to test them, not just for me, but for you guys. I actually asked the Dollar Tree and they didn't know for sure. No one had tried them. So let's just see if they fit well. Please, 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 please fit. Let's see, guys. If they don't, they do! Yay! Dollar Tree Legos. Okay, y'all, this is like a game changer for your Operation Christmas Child Shoe Boxes. These are a dollar, and for your children too. Okay, guys, these are a dollar at the Dollar Tree. I'll tell you, they are a little harder to get on there, but they're working. I am super thrilled about this, super pumped. Guys, have you guys gotten these? It is okay to send the bar of soap. Y'all, how exciting is that? So what I'm gonna do, because I don't want to send a kiddo a ton of Legos, it doesn't matter where you are, mamas everywhere know the power of a Lego in your toe that you haven't sat on, <laughs> it's been messed up so what i'm going to do is i've got some bags and i'm going to put this all into a ziploc bag i am thrilled the legos work i did not know for sure hearts or likes i am excited about this they do stick pretty tight i was really worried because y'all have had i'm sure in the past i just broke a nail um you've had in the past legos that are not we bought cheap legos before and not been impressed but these totally work so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick all of these this along with all the legos into a bag what a fun thing. How exciting is that? Way to go Dollar Tree for creating a toy that actually 
works. Because how many of you guys, I love the Dollar Tree, but I think we've all bought toys for our kids at the Dollar Tree and it's not been what we had hoped. Um, but today, the Dollar Tree, you rocked. So I appreciate you a ton. What a great little gift. I am tickled. I am tickled. Um, so I'm just going to fill this all into one thing. And that's why they've got a bag to keep everything in. And that will keep them busy for a long time. You can also do a Lego kit. There's lots of Lego kits that are pretty inexpensive. But look at that. How perfect is that, you guys? I am thrilled about this one. You think yours work even better after they've played with them a little time. Depends on the age. Yes, and this is definitely for older. This is an older boy. This is not going to go out to it. This is going to go to a... I've got to look at the age, but I think it's five to eight-year-old. So someone who's old enough to hopefully know better than to um, choke on it. I may even send it to an older boy. Okay, so now let's see how much of this we can actually get back in here. So I'm going to roll the T-shirt. See how much space we can save. Y'all, we'll see if we can get it all in. I'm hoping. Okay, and then I've got some flip-flops. Flip-flops are great because they're really, really frugal. They don't cost a whole lot of money. We've got the toothbrushes. We've got the hairbrush. Hang on, I'm gonna stick this down in here. I really think I'm gonna be doing an extra box is what I think. Um, got the car, got the socks. What do you guys think? How, what can I do to make these socks take a little less space? Hang on. What do you guys think? Um, I think I'm gonna do one set of socks. I've got two sets of socks, so I think what I'll probably do is do two boxes because I definitely, having those in there could do a whole nother box. So what I may do is I put two in here. You know what I'm gonna do is I'll do this. Yay for having enough stuff for an extra box. I'm tickled. Okay, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna snag out the socks in here, put the crayons in here. I'm going to do the two extra toothbrush in here. And then I'll do the hairbrush. What I may do, I still feel like I'm not going to have quite as much as I want. Oh, I have a lock in this one. This might actually work for an older boy. So I may have to go find a few more things for an older boy, but this is not too bad. So that's pretty good little two boxes instead of three. That's pretty fantastic. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you, hang on just a second. I have an extra box, just so we can have it packed and I'll go buy one more. But, oh, I lost a few Legos in there, okay. So there's two boxes done, and now I'm gonna do the girls' box. Let me go ahead and get some place for all the trash. Get the trash out of the way here so we can see what we're working on. Guys, if you have not heard of Operation Christmas Child before, you can click the link in the video to learn more about it. I absolutely love this ministry. They literally, they're just one of those fantastic ministry that does awesome things for kids. You can pack a shoebox, send it to children, um, who wouldn't have Christmas without it? So I just, this is a great ministry. Click the link in the video. It's perfect to do with your kiddos. It's a great way to give Christmas to someone else. And what I love about the most is when you go to the website, they have fantastic videos of kids getting these boxes. And for my daughter, when she saw that, she knew this is what she needed to be a part of. And being able to watch her get excited about giving made me so happy. Um, it's by far one of our favorite ministries and I just can't say enough good things about them. They give boxes to kids all over the world. So these boxes will go to children in other countries. It's just an amazing ministry. I'll answer any questions. Candy is no longer allowed, that's correct. No longer, you can't send candy, you can't send toothpaste. Um, I pretty much just say anything that's liquid, I'm not gonna send. I do recommend going ahead and taking everything off. Um, this is the one I'm doing for a girl and I'm super excited because this is for an older girl because I feel like this was such a cute one. So I've got a cute little bag, a little, some flip flops. Um, I'm also gonna do some socks because really I was thinking about the socks and I thought, oh, that's so silly. And I thought, how lovely do you feel when you have great new socks? Um, it's such a small thing that everybody loves a pair of good socks just makes you happy. And these actually were from the Dollar Tree, but they feel amazing. It's a two pack for a buck. So I didn't spend a ton, but I think, um, 
It's a great little gift. Then we have some floss. Some sunglasses, I think. Hair ties also from the Dollar Tree. Can y'all see this? Oh, you can't see it very well, sorry. Um, my favorite thing for, oh, elastics, which I'm actually, what I'm gonna do with these, because I don't wanna send, I love being able to send bags. I'm actually gonna put these, because y'all know what happens with these things. How many of you guys have daughters at home? And you know, the minute they get this, they're gonna have elastics everywhere. So I am gonna put these all. into a bag and again this is just a great ministry such a great ministry and one of those things that I just am so thankful that we get to do each year and put those into there my kids could use rubber bands on things all day long they're always looking for things to do with rubber bands so as a mom of girls I know how many things we can do with those things okay then we've got some hair just plain hair elastics again I'm just getting rid of all the packaging so that they don't end up with tons of trash because you can imagine when they get these boxes out to hundreds of kids at a time that um, there will be trash everywhere and so this is one less thing they have to worry about this cute little brush was from the Dollar Tree as well I just love that um, and then my favorite things were this super cute um, bandana and this was from Hobby Lobby so it was a buck at Hobby Lobby such a fun little thing I think for a little girl I know my kids just love having cute stuff to wear, and then a cute t-shirt. So this is for an older child, and what's nice, I'll show you what they do. They get, let you pick kind of who you send stuff to. I think I can get the crayons in there too. I wish, you know what, I need, I've got an extra composition notebook, so I'm gonna put that in as well. And then I think, I think that's it. So we just did three boxes. I'm gonna found some Legos over here. I'm gonna stick these back in the Lego box. So I did three boxes. Um, I would say, I'm trying to think of what I spent on each box, probably $10-ish per box is what I spent for this stuff. Um, I do want to show you the labels. So once you finish your box, you're going to go to the click in the link in the video, and it's going to take you to my website where I talk all about how to do Operation Christmas Child Shoe Boxes. And then what you can do is go to their site, and you're going to print your labels. Here's my labels. Um, you can decide what age and what, where you're at. So I'm doing a boy five to nine for this one, a girl 10 to 14 for this one. And this will probably also be for a boy five to nine. So you're gonna print your box, your labels. I will tell you they request a $9, I think it's a $9 donation. And the reason for that is you can imagine how much stuff costs to check to ship. So these boxes are going to another country. So they ask for a $9 donation for shipping. So you are going to have to spend a little bit of money, but I feel like this is such a great way to bless a child who would not have Christmas without you. These kids do not get Christmas except for this. And so I feel like this is just a great way to bless them. I also found some cute little heart post-it notes at um, the Dollar Tree. Such a great way to bless kids we're gonna talk, I've got one other idea um, tomorrow I wanna to tell you about, about ways to give. I don't know if I'm gonna do it tomorrow, but I will say, real quick tip, if you have a dollar, uh, not a Dollar Tree, a Kroger nearby, they are having an amazing mega sale this week, like the Kroger mega sale is ridiculous, and that's a great way to get a bunch of stuff super cheap to donate to your local food pantry. So, thank you guys so much. Um, I Somebody said there's this, oh, as far as stuff, being out of the packages, yeah, they're okay with it being out of the packages and they don't have a problem with it. So don't stress over it not being in the package. I know it's weird to us as Americans who I think we are used to everything being very sterile. Um, I think they're gonna be okay with the toothbrush out of the package. But guys, there are so many great ways to be able to give some things and it doesn't have to cost you a ton of money. Don't feel like you have to spend hundreds of dollars, but if you have 10, maybe $20 in your budget this year, decide one place you wanna give to and really bless them this year. I am so glad, Amanda, you do it with your church. You guys have an amazing day. 
Click the link in the video for more information on my Operation Christmas Child Shoe Boxes if you are on my email list, which you should be because that's the only way to keep up with everything on Passionate Penny Pincher. I will also send information about the t-shirt out today because there is a code for 30% off and I really do like the t-shirt. You guys have a great deal day and a great deal, a great day. Oh, and I have to tell you, it's there are a ton of great deals. I will be sending them out in the email in about 10 minutes as soon as I finish up here. You guys have an awesome day and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.